this is my replacement for the ERC time savers sort of lifty bit here. Instead of that, I got this here, which has a instead of it being attached like this way to that 20 millimeter extrusion, it goes right to the eternal extrusion. And this piece that's in the middle here is going to put the holes in it like this so that it uh, will take the standard uh, motor configuration. This is just a little test piece. And uh, disregard the fact that this is a 40 millimeter extrusion. I don't have any 20 millimeter extrusion on hand, so um, I'll have to work with this for now, at least. And they'll have a back plate as well. So they'll have the servo will have more space to mount onto. So you can see it's just kind of stuck to a very thin piece there. But uh, once we get the back plate on, we'll be able to put a, a top on it so that the servo will attach. Um, and it's got to, it's got mini wheels on it now because, again, that's what I have on hand. Um, but uh, I can probably expand it out. Um, this is the size of a, a full-size wheel. So you can see that it uh, does have enough clearance to, um, to fit with a full-size V-wheel. just don't have any full-size V-wheels here. Um, and I also went with a more traditional style of um, attaching the, the belt to it, which has got like a strap on it and you uh, use a little uh, zip tie on the end and then it would just normally go around the, the idler here and then you can still have the idler tension adjustment uh, attached to it. Um, nice thing about this is obviously it's smaller, um, it's less printing it has to be done. Uh, at the same time uh, it's, uh, it should be the same travel. I mean, it's about the same height as this. Um, I mean, this plate will be longer, obviously, uh, once I've finished the testing with it. Um, and then it, uh, of course, it does uh, your standard uh, bits. Let's see. And then it does its, it does its job. It goes up and down. That's all it takes, right? I mean, these are uh, custom 3D printed, sort of uh, they're V wheels, but uh, with a groove in them instead. And the the plate has let me zoom out a little bit. The plate has uh, grooves on the side, so it slides up and down in it. Um, it's not quite as smooth. You can see that there's a bit of a janky bit at the end here, where it's not constrained enough to lift it up and down. But I think that with the motor on it, uh, it's going to put a lot more weight on it. Um, so it'll just kind of push it down on its own back into its native spot down here. Um, standard standard setup. Um, but if not, I, I can put um, like a, a screw through the back uh, and attach a rubber band or something, like a spring, so this it'll want to pull it down, like, um, create a little bit more force on it to pull it down if it's not. But I think this is also, this piece, this hole here is a little bit too big up at the top as well, currently. As you can see, it's got a lot of, a lot of play to it. Um, I mean, it seems to work okay. It doesn't go all the way, it doesn't sit all the way down like it's supposed to. The, uh, the V wheels I also printed at uh, way too low a resolution. So they are uh, they're kind of, have some flat edges to them. Um, and that's it. So hopefully this will work and I'm gonna use it for uh, uh, milling out uh, the, uh, the plans instead of uh, needle cutting just to see how it works and if it doesn't work then I can just drop back to this needle cutter sort of configuration.